Hello, welcome. You can follow these tips too in order to create a Azure free subscription or pay as you go model. All you can do is you, you can open your favorite browser and simply type in your browser as Azure free trial. And that would actually open up a Azure free trial, the first link, so you could create your own Azure free account, uh, which will offer close to $200 as a free and some of the services for example these are the uh, some of the services that are free for 12 months in this case a VM you can you know spin up for 750 hours B1S is a free for one year similarly a Linux or SQL Server or some other services that are offered by Microsoft Azure Cloud are free always also just like your website creation all of that of course, that consists of some of the limitations, definitely. But uh, this lecture is going to focus more into the subscription. So we'll just click on start free trial uh, so that you could, you know, follow along with me too in order to get the free subscription. And if you're looking for the pay as you go model, you could even follow the same steps. In case if you're eligible, you would be getting as the subscription. Otherwise, you might have to end up by using your credit card to pay as you go model. So in my case, if I just as soon as I click on a free a free uh, trial or start free, uh, I would be you know, getting this kind of, you know, uh, sign in process. This is nothing but your email account. So let's say you have already Microsoft account like Outlook or Gmail or any other account. You just have to enter that. Uh, or if you don't have one, you could, you know, create it by create one so that uh, the subscription will be associated with this account so in my case paddy maddy 26 outlook is the account that i'm going to use it this is the account first time logging into it so uh, it is asking all that multi-factor authentication all of that steps and now this is where i need to enter my region if you see here so in my case it's india so in your case if you are falling in maybe uk or yours you have to select your region and based on that country region this credits will be available for you so in my case uh, for my india region there are uh, local currency uh, amount call, amount approximately 13300 credits will be given for me for use within 30 days limit and uh, i need to you know just give here my profile details and my address all of that information once this profile and the billing address is validated i should be able to uh, proceed further in order to give my credit card all of other details just in case if i want to you know continue further even for the free trial also i need to uh, give my credit card information so in this case uh, it's actually asking for a phone number to enter so in my case i have already a phone number also i would be you know, entering a use uh, phone number a later point i would you know either call me or text me so let me enter here my phone number and text me and i received a verification code verify that code and uh, fill these you know company all other details in this case and uh, you can you know click on next to you know get the verification details uh, in this case it would be the identity verification uh, that's the next step if you look at here and as you can see here it's actually validating my uh, information so i need to here enter my credit card details uh, like credit card number expiry cvv number these are the confidential so i would definitely not be you know showing here but it's just the general credit card details you need to enter even though if you are trying to use a free trial you have to give your uh, credit card details so that it will be validated so if you have a debit card also that also okay to you know validate so in my case my bank also asking for the multi-factor authentication in order to validate my uh, credit card details so that's why it was taken to the bank account um, website that has been validated now uh, i'm ready to sign up so as soon as i click on sign up what would happen is if my identity the first one is my email id criteria i'm talking about my email id my phone number and my credit card these three must not be used in, uh, in previously so any of them were used previously you're not eligible for free subscription uh, or free trial for 30 days so make sure that uh, you need to enter your phone number your email ID your credit card details 
are completely a new or should be a unique or never been associated with a free trial uh, so that you could you know get uh, this free trial otherwise you are not eligible so in my case i have already used multiple times my phone number so i'm not eligible you could you know get that information in a minute or so as soon as i click on sign up now by verifying so it's gonna validate my account in the back end with my billing email id phone number all of that and it clearly says that hey you're not eligible for getting a as your free account subscription so i need to you know continue with the sign up for the as your pay as you go model pricing so i'm okay with that you know go with uh, pricing and here again it's going to validate my credit card details all of that stuff also uh, the uh, and also if any kind of you know tax information is applicable in that country you might have to enter so in my case here tax id also it is asking uh, and this is what the subscription technical support let's say you are looking for a pay as you go model along with the you stuck somewhere on a azure services to use or you need some technical support microsoft can offer you and there are multiple uh, pricing uh, pricings are available so you could you know use any of the uh, pricing model in order to get the support in case if you don't need support you can choose no technical support is needed if you are an expert or you have already covered with additional support you would be using so in my case i don't need additional support so i clicked and i don't need and continued so now this is going to validate again my uh, account details in the back end this time even my credit card details all of that if i am ready to you know get the pay as you go model i would be you know getting is here as the successfully uh, i'm eligible for pay as you go model meaning uh, the subscription would you know created in this case so you could see here it's actually navigated to portal.azure.com and here it is a quick uh, check boxes there if you just close this box this quick start guide will be closed uh, but basically this quick start will talk about you know how to navigate how to start your project what are the training uh, materials are available projects uh, courses that you can you know go and learn freely all of that so i'm just you know closing this and later point you could see here this is what my id i used so this account by default the first account will have a full permissions uh, for your subscription so i would you know just like to you know show you here my tenant so i would navigate to microsoft entra and you could see here under overview this is what my tenant id i'm talking with the tenant so there's no confusion i hope uh, because subscription is different from a tenant tenant is going to protect your identity uh, from microsoft intra and uh, the user accounts all of that would be you know, created here and if you see here this is my primary domain so in this case paddy maddy 26 outlook dot on microsoft dot com is the tenant id that has been created and you could see here uh, clearly on microsoft.com tenant got created by default and uh, there are you know one account which is by default account and you could see even a uh, subscription this is a subscription id as i said tenant id is different from a subscription id so subscription id is associated with your billing so in this case the pay as you go model if in case if you are you know eligible for the free trial you would you know get it here free trial specific uh, but the tenant id would be a unique for every company or every uh, subscription uh, even every subscription uh, will have its unique id even tenant uh, also will be a unique uh, numbering system so in this case uh, this is where you could see your roles all of that in case if you want to transfer your ownership or billing you, you want to cancel your pay as you go model you can click here and get the confirmation and then cancel or you could you know rename this billing instead of you know pay as you go you may say that you know this is for project one something like that you could do it from rename you could even change the directly when i say directly it's your uh, intra tenant specific identity can be you know changed because um, we did talked about in the presentation if you remember uh, this is where you can have your microsoft enter tenant associated with a multiple subscriptions however a subscription can be only associated with one tenant 
always so you see here the subscription uh, multiple subscriptions can be part of your tenant but subscription can uh, have only one tenant that's how it is uh, documented I hope this lecture is useful for you uh, in order to get the uh, trial license thank you for watching I would uh, catch you in the next lecture